Um, you know, when we start talking about the whole rooting process, it's been an interesting journey over the, over the last several years as we really start looking at it. You look at a lot of the research that's been done, and of course, it's always been the research is done on a very small number of cuttings and, and then measuring success on these small numbers. What we're really concerned about is what are the factors that drive uniform rooting, rapid rooting of very large populations. You know, it's not uncommon in a large rooting station to root a million cuttings in one week. Um, and of course, those all have to be done within their specified crop time because they need to be shipped out on time all the time and they have met the quality specifications that we've established. So what we've really done is we've tried to break it down into these five factors to help simplify where are the problems, what should we be focused on, and how do we solve the problems that are there. So hopefully, as we go through this um, process, you'll begin to understand where, where's the failure, where's the problem that you need to solve, because there's not a lot of time to do this in that very short 10 to 12 week season that we call the rooting season for the rooting stations. So let's start out with what we have found to be the number one reason why cuttings fail. When we talk about hydration, these are cuttings that are fully hydrated. Just like you, you know, Bill is a runner and Bill runs massively fast. I, I've heard of how fast he can run when he's fully hydrated, but as he starts losing hydration, he slows down, same with cuttings. As they start losing hydration, they basically also very much slow down. Um, the next factor that there's been a lot of research because it's easy research to do, the hydration research is very complicated to do, but very easy to implement the rules. But light, light intensity, they've looked at light intensity as the daily light integral. A lot of research has been done um, around the world on this particular topic, and it's, we'll talk, explore that. When we talk about temperature, we're really talking about degree day. Degree days is really a measurement of increases of temperature above a base temperature at which the plant just doesn't grow because it's just too cold for it to grow. So when we look at how many degree days, how many hours above this temperature is really important to understand because that really drives respiration and also rate of plant development. So when we wanna be on time with 100% rooted, we really need to understand what are the degree days? How, how does that impact our plant performance and uniformity? One of the big challenges we have is, is the nutrition, and we're gonna talk a little bit about base nutrition levels of that unrooted cutting and how to correct it because unfortunately there's no way that you can get a liner, the rooted cutting, um, rooted within good health and good nutrition without understanding that those cuttings, unrooted cuttings coming in do have a different um, level of nutrition and you have to correct that. We're gonna to touch a little bit on gas exchange but, you know, it sounds complicated, Bill, but when you really break it down into a image, really when you go from A to B, which is basically taking a unrooted cutting and turn it into a rooted cutting, um, basically, if we take the top three factors, of course, in the middle, you see water where early on, we want it to be very wet because we need to keep it hydrated. We need to get it hydrated. And then as you progress towards a rooted cutting, it needs to have less moisture. Conversely, the light intensity. Early on, we want lower light intensity because high light is high temperature. High temperature basically impacts the amount of moisture in the cutting. And so then as time goes on, we wanna have more light. And once we get roots established, we wanna get lots of light to get a lot of energy. And Nathan's really gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk a little bit about temperature and the impact of temperatures, both all the way through the supply chain. The supply chain is everything from the time the cutting has been harvested, until you basically have got a rooted cutting. So looking at what is the temperature during this, because temperature, think of it as the modulator or, or controller of all the different factors that go into the plant growth. Because as the temperature goes up, water loss increases so that it, it might be good, it might be bad, depending upon if you're at A or if you're at B. At A, you don't want to lose a lot of water. At B, you want to move water through that plant very rapidly. So we need to be looking at how temperature impacts it. 